Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Saturday the 16th of September. Tonight we continue our journey through the life and times of John the Baptist and we opened our worship this evening with the hymn Hark a Thrilling Voice is Sounding. Now to our opening prayer. Spirit of the risen Christ, as lamps light up the evening, shine into our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love. May the light of lights come to our dark hearts. May the Spirit's wisdom come to us from our Saviour. May the peace of the Spirit be ours this night. The peace of the Son be ours this night. The peace of the Father be ours this night. The peace of all peace be ours this night, each morning and evening of our lives. Amen. Amen. Our reading this evening from Matthew chapter 11 and various verses. Now when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. Those with leprosy are cleansed and the deaf hear. And the dead are raised up, and the poor have good news preached to them. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? A man dressed in soft clothing? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. Thanks be to God. We now reflect on this reading and the life of John the Baptist. Now imprisoned by Herod, it seems that the bars of John's cage have rattled him and he needs confirmation that all he has been doing, all he has stood for, is real and reliable. It would be no surprise if, imprisoned for the courage of his convictions, he questioned Jesus' authenticity. In his dingy, dark and doubtful place, he needs to know. Jesus responds with clarity and compassion. His answer is in biblical code, referencing the messianic prophecies of Isaiah. Look, he says, what I am is evidenced by what you see. So the question about who Jesus is, are you the one? is answered in terms of what he does. Heal the sick, preach good news, and so on. Then, as Jesus often did, he turns the question around, asking the disciples, what did you expect to see? A nice man? Someone with no scruples who caves in under pressure? Thus, John's question becomes the catalyst for enabling Jesus to testify about him to return the favour, as it were. The evidence that Jesus is the Christ is found in the healing and seeing and preaching. The evidence for John being the prophetic forerunner is his integrity, his conviction and his appearance. What you see is what you get and what you get is what you see. Jesus tells them and all posterity that John is no fickle wanderer but a man of supreme integrity, greater than the prophets before him. What an accolade from the Saviour of the world. May we, like John, have our questions answered in words and deeds. Amen. Amen. We come now to our prayers this evening. as we think about our aching world. 
Father, we pray for a world of peace and integrity, a world of mutual respect and international understanding. We pray for Libya and for Morocco. We remember too the people of Ukraine. Father, we bring to your to you our love and our concern for our families, our friends and our neighbours. We remember this evening those facing change or those feeling isolated. Father, we bring to you our desire for healing and wholeness in those who are distressed, uncomfortable or in great pain. We bring to our willingness to help wherever you want to use us. Father, we bring to you our loved ones who have died. And we pray too for those who are dying this night with no one near to them. Father, we bring to you our thanks for life and all its blessings, for the experiences we learn from and grow through. Amen. We pray together now as Jesus taught us. Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Great Spirit, who broods over the sleeping world, as we sleep this night. Restore the garment of our self-respect and remake us in your beauty. Renew in us as we sleep the stillness of our being, the soundness of our bodies, and bring to dawn our wholeness. Peace to you. We bless you now in the name of the Lord, Peace to you. We bless you now in the name of the Prince of Peace. Peace to you. Amen. Amen.